Well, heck of a first half, huh? Yeah. I guess you got to play 60 minutes. That's what they told me after the game. So what was the difference between the first and the second half? Oh, I think we wore out a little bit on defense. Uh, you know, couldn't get anything going offensively. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a mindset more than anything. Uh, they hit a couple plays we had. You know, what I always look for is we got guys in position to make tackles, and uh, we don't make tackles. And that tells me, uh, you know, we probably wore down a little bit in that second half. I, I would think that's probably what happened. Considering how beat up your team is, especially on defense in the secondary, are you surprised that you held Houston to seven in the first half? Yeah, you know, I, I, I thought this defense could play like that all year, and uh, you know that's kind of the way I envisioned this team, this defense going this year. And I finally got to the point where I spent a lot more time on the defensive side of the ball, and kids played a lot better. Um, you know, the problem is we're so beat up that uh, you know Pope was out today. We we had a lot of guys out. Shaq was out. Uh, you know, we haven't had Ajay. Uh, half of those kids have started the season for us. We got 16 kids out with. Uh, you know, for the season, and I've never been around a team like that. So, uh, for what we got left, I mean, I thought the kids played hard. They played hard the whole game. Uh, it didn't go our way again, um, and we didn't finish it. But uh, that's just the way it is this late in the year. Defensively, can you talk about how difficult it is to get your secondary guys doing what they need to do when they're so shorthanded? Oh yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. Guys got to change positions and all that stuff. And then we had Nate Halverson, he was ready to go in the corner and they ended up putting him back in as, as a receiver and uh, ended up uh, hurting his knee. I think he's going to be day to day, but uh, you know, that's just one of those things. I mean, we're down to two corners and then you get Greenbrier knocked down for a little bit there and then uh, one of the other safeties went down. Uh, uh, Darren Richardson went down. Uh, you know, you're down to okay. If we get one more guy hurt, I don't know what we're gonna do. You know, we're gonna go grab some guy on the bench that's got a number that fits and throw him in there and tell him don't get beat deep. I guess. When Greenbauer went down twice, really, in addition to the tackles he makes, isn't it part of his responsibility getting people lined up, making the calls on oh, the back no, that, end? That was the biggest panic we had. I mean, when he went down, it's like, oh God, we don't, you know. He is a little young to be getting that stuff done, and, and uh, Greenbar's kind of the general back there in secondary, gets things lined up, makes the checks for the coverages and the you know the fire zones and those kind of things, and you know that's that's scary, really scary. And I, I'm just glad it wasn't anything real serious. Coach, in all your years of coaching, have you had, for better lack of words, a season that's been as challenging as this one has been? No, uh, -uh this is it. You know, I, I 37 years of coaching, and uh, it's been a challenge. I, I, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to tell you this has been a bed of roses. I mean, it's uh, get it up, you know, play. You know, you come out of those games, you're low. By Tuesday or Wednesday, you got to get the kids up. That's your job. Get them ready to play. You know, one thing I am happy about this team is this team has always been ready to play. I mean, we not may not finish a game and those kind of things, but from a coaching standpoint, I've had these kids ready to play emotionally physically every game and it's not like I mean did you see those kids give up today no I mean that's really easy this late in the season just to give up not even play I mean, this this could have been 70 nothing if that would have happened so you know I'm really proud of these kids I love these kids a gr good group of kids and we talked about it last night I mean who would you rather have as a teammate but we're just not getting it done you know in the win-loss column which that's what it is in college football anymore when you talk about getting these guys back up in practice in the week leading up to each game how much of that is what you and your staff do, and how much of that is just the personality, the DNA of the guys on your team? It's a little bit of both. You know, uh, I'm thinking about maybe becoming a full-time cheerleader uh, after the season. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that. And uh, either that or going to be one of those motivational speakers. And maybe the corporation that hire me, I go down and give those rah-rah speeches, and they'd pay me 100000 for a speech or something. i make those tapes. But, uh, no, it's been... Uh, it's been interesting, but the kids have responded. I mean, they don't get down on each other. You know, a lot of times you have off-field problems when you have go through a season like this, and we haven't had any off-field problems. You know, you got guys in trouble with the law and all that stuff, and that was one of the things that when I took it over that I told those kids that I will not tolerate anything but a good effort, and they've responded. Is there anything specifically that you can point to on the offense that just wasn't clicking early on that – well, I was worried about these guys because Houston's always had great speed on defense, and that's a good defense. I mean, I look at defenses. Them and Central Florida are, are two of the better defenses in the country, and uh, 
I was worried about you know our lack of size and speed versus their size and speed, and it really kind of came true. I mean, Matt right? did some amazing things to me. I mean, one time he's got the jersey almost pulled off, and he came out of there running. And you know, I was worried about that going in. I thought that that's a good defense, and you know, we're just not we're not that caliber right now. I mean, we've been and we will be again, but we're not right now. Is that what Gaines got in the game to kind of? You know, I really don't know why uh, Jason had him out. You know, we went a couple, three, four weeks without seeing him, and all of a sudden he's back in the game. Uh, you know, you guys are going to have to ask him that. Uh, you know, I, I've kept this program alive. I haven't really got too involved with the offense. I've tried to maintain the defense. And, you know, when I felt like the defense was really slipping, I, I really walked away from the offense more than anything and let those guys run it. So you have to ask Jason. On Gaines' touchdown, he comes across the middle to make the catch and then sort of ran away from the secondary. Right. Were you surprised that he was able to pull away like that? Not really. I thought he was a great athlete when we recruited him. I mean, I, I talked to some of the coaches in Texas with, with, with Mac Brown, and they were really kicking themselves that they didn't take him. And I, I think he's that kind of athlete. Uh, you know, I, I, the next guy in here, I hope he uses him as an H-back or U-back. You know, that's what he is.